At Synapse Engineering, our products are better known for their automotive and racing applications. What we would like to communicate is that we're interested in finding partners to help us develop markets outside of the performance and racing industry, such as automotive, OEM, industrial, and aerospace applications. What we want to demonstrate in our video is exactly how our synchronic technology functions as a pressure relief valve. So now we have the Synapse technology integrated in this pressure relief valve. This pressure relief valve is characterized by O-ring seals all the way around. So currently we're running relatively low pressures in it, such as 37 PSI, but it can take burst pressures of up to 2,000 PSI with a properly spec O-ring. Um, and what we're going to demonstrate to you is how the synchronic actuator technology is applied in this pressure relief valve. You've got a poppet valve that is controlled by an actuator that has pressure operating on both sides. Now, what is really different is this is a tiered piston actuator in this pressure relief valve. So what we're doing now is we're building pressure in the pipe. And what our valve will do is it will relieve that pressure using only the same system pressure. So there is no regulated, the pressure to actuate the valve is not regulated. Uh, there is not a pressure differential between the front of the actuator and the back of the actuator on either substrate. What's actually happening is we're just creating a time delay between when this pressure is relieved and when this pressure is bled down. And so we've got a three-way solenoid valve that's connected to the back of the actuator. And what will happen is when we vent the back of the actuator to atmosphere, it will create a time difference between the front and the back of the actuator, effectively relieving the pressure. And as you can see on our gauge here, pressure drops immediately from 37 PSI all the way down to zero. And this point to this point is a time differential. So the amount of time it takes to actually vent that pressure is very, very small. So we believe that some of the applications for this pressure relief valve potentially could be used in um, environments where if, an, if a peak pressure is reached as you're about to reach explosion for a vessel, uh, this valve can actually relieve the pressure of that vessel so that it doesn't go into uh, full catastrophic explosion. And it can do that using the same pressure that's already in the vessel. So the same pressure that's already in the vessel will not only keep the valve closed at all times, but if that pressure rises in the system, that, that same system pressure can actually actuate the valve to relieve that pressure and leave that valve open if it needs to. And there's a various sorts of mechanisms that can be used to do that using check valves or, or whatever else uh, you can use. But the key here is this is a fully mechanical system. It does not rely on any electronics. It doesn't rely on any electrical signal so that if, even if there is a power outage and you have a catastrophic failure in a pressurized vessel, this valve can completely relieve that pressure to eliminate 100% explosive failure. So we're going to pressurize this vessel again. And just with the same control pressure. You're seeing 37 PSI at the front of the actuator. You're seeing 37 PSI at the back of the actuator right now. The valve is staying closed. It's not leaking. What we're going to do is we're going to relieve that pressure using a three-way solenoid valve milliseconds faster than it would be seeing it in the vessel. And you'll see the pressure relieved. And again, it is amazing how fast that pressure is discharged for the whole vessel. So we believe that there's some significant industrial applications for this product that go beyond performance and racing in the automotive world. So now, so now we're using an industrial four-way solenoid valve to demonstrate just how fast uh, our pressure relief valve can operate and using only mechanical controls. This is a four-way remote pilot actuated valve. And once we pressurize the system, we're able to reach the control pressure for the valve. So now the valve's control pressure is keeping the valve shut. Once we let this pressure go, the pilot pressure will disappear 
it will bring the back of the pressure relief valve to atmosphere and there will still be pressure in the pipe and so what will happen is the valve will open up with the same system pressure in order to relieve uh, the buildup in the, in the vessel and it does so quickly and so if you watch some of our other automotive based videos you'll notice just how fast the valve can open and close so it can be used in industrial applications that require a response So even at low pressure, the valve is able to actuate quickly. Low pressures like 10 psi, pressures of 20 psi, open quickly, close quickly, very responsive, fast build up quickly shut, build pressure back up quickly. The key here is we're able to actuate a pressure relief valve with only pressure, A, B, using the same system pressure. No pressure regulation on either side of the valve. The valve is actuated by the same pressure. The key feature of our synchronic technology is that we have a piston actuator, that is multi-tiered. It has four chambers and four ports to communicate with that piston actuator. And what we're doing is we're able to actuate a valve using only pressure, A. B, we're using the same system pressure value. So there is no pressure regulation at the front of the actuator or the back of the actuator. So on either substrate, whether to open or to close the actuator, it is the same system pressure. There is no grading or pressure regulation on either side of that piston or on the different ports. What we're essentially doing is taking the same main actuator diameter and we're producing four different forces, two opposing on either side of the actuator to be able to generate up to 16 different force combinations out of the actuator or 16 different pressure regulation schemes using the same actuator. So there is actually no vacuum being used or differences in pressure. It is the same system pressure. And as you notice, it reacts very, very quickly. And so we believe that this technology has some good industrial merit and we're looking for some partners in industry that look to really monopolize uh, or create a new segment for themselves in their given industrial target. Because this technology is covered by patent six, eight six three two six zero.